Lockmeister here. I want to say uh, Happy New Year to everybody. Happy 2019. And um, I wanted to say uh, this. What better way to start the new year is to get yourself a new antique radio. I mean, what could be better than that? So, um, I got something in the mail today. Let's see what I got, shall we? Yeah, it's been raining here, like, uh, like a lot. This is, uh, looking outside the, the window here at the new neighborhood. It's a nice, it's a nice hood. It's better than the old hood. Okay, so, um, so here's the box. I just took it inside. And, uh, here's the cat. He wants to look at it. So let's take a look at it. Yeah, it's kind of like a Merry Christmas to me. It was a little late, but um, yeah, that Russian Christmas, man, that still is until like January 7th. So um, you got to get something to listen to the Ruskies on. So I figure, hey, kill two birds with one stone. Get a radio and listen to the Ruskies. I hope that doesn't count as collusion. Yeah, I'm using my my favorite Fury knife. It's a it's a German knife. Uh, it's made in China though. Let's see if I can see it says on there. It should say Fury on there. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, it's a Fury one one zero four seven, and it's like I like this. It's balanced good, fits in your hand good, but it's like uh, it's made in China. But I think the uh, the steel's pretty good. It doesn't break when I open a box or anything. So, hey, you know this thing's pretty heavy, but I noticed it has uh, peanuts in there. And the guy did. He boxed it twice. That was cool. I might have asked him to do that. I think I did. I think I asked him to double box it. Yes, this one here. Oh. It's just a spacer. You know? Which I wanted to play that too. Oh, it's the most challenging popular yeah, crossword puzzle. 120 puzzles. Okay, never mind. But that seems pretty good. I mean, the guy's smart. Put that box in there. Fits pretty good. Okay. So, he did double box it. So, we gotta get it out of there. Okay, box number two. I'll go at it. And I kinda like this guy here. He actually was trying to be careful. And he, uh, you know, wrapped it in paper too, which I think was probably necessary. So I gotta be careful. I gotta be real careful opening this because I probably can't use this. So you gotta basically peel it like an onion, like this. There you go. So now. We got this. I could tell from this side that this is the top here. And there, there's something like a little rattle in here. So maybe one of the tubes got loose. Or something, I don't know. Here it goes. You know what this is? This this is this is RCA's answer to the transoceanic. This is actually the back side. You gotta watch the handle. Shouldn't use the handle. The handle's still good. Sometimes these are broken. And it's flexible too. 
I'm not trying to break it, I'm just saying there's some resiliency in there. There you go. Right there. RC Vector. Open these little things here. Clips. And then, here you go. Look at that! It's looking good! Looking good like a cigarette should. That was cool about this. See, they got, look here. They got a, they got a sea monster over there. And over here, they got a, they got a whale over there. They got a, an iceberg, I guess. Let's see. Got an airplane. Yeah, what do you think about this? Look at that. Hey, it looks really good. It looks really good. It's in really good shape. This has uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven bands, it looks like. If I counted up to seven correctly, it's got some spread bands. Like this is 9.45 megacycle to 9. Point something I can't read. So it's like a spread band. Megacycles, megacycles. Got your famous kilocycles up here. It's got Base. Oh, separate base and treble. Whoa. It's got a on off switch. Seems to work there. You got. Oh, yeah, that's right. This dial don't work. That's right. It's got to be restrung. So the guy said that. He said it could be a difficult job to restring it. This knob kind of goes a little cockeyed here. This is, that's the band selector here. Okay. Oh, yeah, this is cool. This is cool. I've been wanting these for a long time. Let's open the back of it. Now this is a pleasant surprise. It's got he said it had a blemish on the back. You could just barely see it. But, you know, the picture on eBay looked like it was like pinkish. But, it isn't. You know, I thought someone put lipstick on there and kind of rubbed it. But, it might look a little pinkish in the video. But it's actually darker brown. I mean, it's nothing. A little blemish it ain't nothing, you know. The, the cow hide feels good. I mean, it's, it's good. You open this up. Ah, just like I thought. The tube, the tube came out and is wedged underneath the tuner. That's wedged pretty good, too. You know, it's amazing how that could happen, isn't it? Let's see. Ah, uh -oh, need two hands. Yeah, um, some uh, plastic on there. Oh, here, this got loose too. Amazing how this stuff could get loose. This is the antenna. You could stick it. You could stick it like suction cups. It's RCA's answer to the wave magnet. But I guess they didn't want to make it look like a dopey magnet, so they made it look like that. And you could plug that into the radio somehow, somewhere. It's got a jack on the back. Yeah, what's that for? Headphones, maybe? It's got the label. Hey, it isn't like... It's got good plating and stuff. Oh, there's another tube stuck in there, too. Look at that. Two tubes stuck in there. Hey. Eh, it's another two-hander. 
How could it get wedged under the tuner like that? Okay, I found the dial cord. That could be a that could be a problem putting on. Got the tube out. It's an RCA tube. Can't believe that. This is a whoops. Hands, hands. This is also an RCA tube. Wow, it's probably the original ones. I'm gonna figure where they stick in there. It's got the golden throat label. And it's got um where is it? There it is. It's got the label label. Looks in good shape there. And uh that rubber band fell out of it. It's got original power cord. Look at that. I know some of these radios you're supposed to when you use the battery, you're supposed to like plug the cord in there somewhere. I don't see that on this model or this kind of radio. It's got a switch here. What does this say? Low? Oh, low line. Yeah. This is like if your line voltage is low, like 105 volts or something, you put it on low, low line voltage. It gives a boost. But I think it's like 105 volts or 104 or something. Huh. I'm gonna figure where these tubes go. I can't see right off. Oh, you're not gonna believe it. The tubes do go under the tuner. They didn't fall out and get stuck in there. The sockets are right underneath there. And they, they rub against the tuner. Wow. So, that was pretty stupid of me. I took them off, but the tubes actually stick in there. One must be like the RF amp, and one must be the mixer or something. And, uh, see this tuner? Got three gangs on this tuner. Uno, dos, tres. Un, deux, trois. Yeah, that one, the one that far one's a bugger to get in. But, uh, I think I could get the front one a lot easier. Yeah, so I got it back in. I, I really like this 50s technology. I really do. Let's see, that tube's in. That one got a shield. There's one hiding in the back there. There's one in the back. Big uh, multi-electrolytic ca capacitor in there. Uh, speaker looks pretty good there. Speaker looks great. You know, I mean, it, it looks good. I mean, uh, it looks like it's really constructed really good. I really like that. And let's see what the label says here. Uh, it's, uh... RCA Victor Division, Camden, New Jersey. Good old Camden. It was a nice place at one time. And you know, the funny thing is that Campbell's Soup was right next to the RCA plant. So with all that cadmium and zinc and stuff and all that stuff coming out of the chimney, you know, right next to Campbell's Soup, that was like, mm-mm, good. Now I bet you're thinking, is Lockmeister going to plug this thing in to see if it works or something? Hmm. You bet your ass I am. It's time to go to the secret Lockmeister Radio Museum. Okay, so we're going to leave the safety of the uh, living room in the Lockmeister uh, compound. I should say the relative safety. We gotta enter into this door. Get our key ring, keys. Garfield. Garfield. The real Garfield. And this room here. Huh? It's the laundry room. Go from the laundry room. We got a Another secret door here. The squeak is for effect. 
get some lights on the subject. Right down here. I should have an automatic light that goes there goes. Automatic light. Get down to the, the tunnel down here. Get the keys. Oh, oh God. Who cut the lights? That doggone automatic light. Just barely see it. Yes. I can barely see in here. Ooh, what's that? Oh, just me. I find the light switch. Oh, I see some lights on here. Those are my rodent repellent lights. They send off high frequencies to disturb any rodents that might get in here. Here we go. This is the beginnings of the Lockmeister Radio Museum. Let's see what we got here. We got uh, this RCA what is this? It's 1938. Uh, it's an 8... 810K, yeah. And I got this uh, GE uh, multiband, which is cool. You guys saw that before. And I got a Transoceanic. I got this uh, really cool RCA. I think it's 1933. This is a good one. They had a Westinghouse one too and a GE one. Yeah, got some junk there. Got this whole GE clocker, yeah. Got the Filtco uh, 16B. Got the RCA 143. Remember that? The um, chassis is still out of it. It's one of these boxes here. Because I had to get the. Well, this one I never did finish. Got to get on that. Got this RCA ra racetrack dial with a sessions clock on top. Got that uh, Philco there. Forgot the name of that. And then uh, got the globe sitting there. I got that for 10 years at my uh, old place of employment. And then I got, uh, that's when they used to give you shit. I got the uh, Super GE radio, the good one, before they make them like junk. And then, uh, it's coming this oh yeah. I got that that guy there. Hang on a second. Got an antique chair to put my antique butt on. Oh yeah, here's this Philco um 17L low boy. So I had to take the chassis out of there because it was just too heavy to move in the move. I got this old timey super hetrodyne. Uh, you guys know what that is. And then it came with a stand, so uh, I got a little chip in here though. I gotta fix that. I got that old Zenith sitting on top of, uh, which I think John from Arkansas said that could have been a Brunswick uh, speaker thing. Who knows? And I got this, uh, I think this was a Ward's radio. This is pretty cool. Got a lot of Art Deco on this thing. And got, um, someone put a magic eye in there. That wasn't original. So I got that. What's this here? A piece of veneer. Oh yeah. Yeah, that's a, this one here is an RCA 811K. Then I got the RCA, uh, Two two sixty two over there. 
Yeah, someone gave me this. This is a, uh, a big old um, Zenith chassis. It's got, let me count the tubes. Yeah, I just counted. That's a 12 tube, 12 tuber Zenith chassis. But, uh, let's see. Got this lady doing something, doing something here. I'm not sure what. I got this whole clock here. And I got this, uh, knockoff GE radio, which actually isn't that bad. And then, uh, what we got here? Oh, I got this old GE. Remember that one? And uh, I was missing the handle. So if anyone has a candle, uh, send it to me, please. And then we got uh, got this guy here. I forgot who made that thing. Yeah, I think there's a Wells Gardner. And uh, what else we got here? Got uh, remember this is a work in progress. I gotta get everything copacetic. So I got a flip, a flip uh, clock radio, flip digit, and that was my Aunt Anne's. Got another TO. Got that pretty big RCA Victor table radio. It's pretty big, and uh, it's got three bands on that thing. And uh, got this old uh, Zenith record player radio. It's pretty cool. Oh, we got this guy here. Remember this thing? Uh, that, that's what the handle looks like on on this one, but it's the same handle as on the other one. So um, I don't know. So we got uh, that one there, and uh, I think that's about it. Yeah, I think that's about it. Got some test stuff there. Oh yeah, wait. I got this uh, carousel thing, and uh, my wife got me this years and years ago. It's a double-decker carousel. Let's see if I can find the power pack for that. This is pretty cool. You gotta see this. Let's see if it works. Huh? Yeah, here it goes. Oh, it plays Christmas too. I can lower the lights. Let's watch. See, it's got lights on it too. For nighttime. See, they go up and down. Yeah, that's pretty cool. It's a double decker. And some there's some people on there too. There's this little person here. See you lady. I think there's someone up here, don't they? Hey, how's it going? Yeah, she's kinda quiet. Hey, you're having fun. Yeah, that's, this is a pretty cool thing. Okay, I see how this works. It's got antenna plugs in there, or you could plug in the, the wave magnet. And this is the uh, antenna here. Thank you. What did I do? Break it? There you go. Mm, the tunnel looks really good. I got a winner on this one, didn't I? I think they got the antenna in the cover too. You know, you got like metal here. I think there's an antenna inside of here, but I ain't sure. I gotta read about that. Find off switch. Now I can't find my um my current tester and voltage tester. It's got 
packed away somewhere. But I do have a Variac, and I do have a uh, isolation transformer. So, uh, why not? Yeah, I'm putting a, a 3 amp fuse in here. That's all I got right now. Yeah, I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, Lockmeister, you lost your mind. You, you shouldn't do that. But I'm like, well, I got a 3 amp fuse in there. And I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, this thing got a selenium rectifier, and that thing could really smoke or something, and, you know, it'll give off a lot of noxious selenium fumes. I say, that could happen, yeah. I guess you're right. Okay, so talking about that, we got a... We got the isolation transformer, and that goes into Mr. Variac here. Oh, I got to plug in the radio. Now these AC-DC sets, there's no polarization on this plug, but one way makes the chassis hot, and the other way makes the chassis not hot. So it's something you guys got to look out for if you're fooling with it. But at least I got a isolation transformer on it. So uh, what I'm going to do is put this radio on like that. And these little tubes, you don't even see them light, you know. They're like, I couldn't see that light, I don't think. But I'm going to give it a little voltage here. Like, uh, about like that much. I mean, it's like about 50 volts maybe. Give it a give it a chance. You hear something humming. Might be the transformer. Let me look in back of it. No, you can't see it, but I forgot. There's a switch on the Variac here. That's the switch. Okay, sorry about that. False alarm. Let's give it about 40 volts. Nothing. Let's give it a little more. I don't see nothing. Not a. Let's give it a little more. Variax humming. I don't see nothing. Oh shit, do you hear that? The speaker made a little noise. No way. How about 90 volts in it? Look at that. You hear that? It's a little static. No kidding. Okay. Let's boost the Variac up. Probably like a hundred volts.
Got something there on the radio there. No way. No way. Okay. I'm gonna put the lights on a little. Put the lights up. I got some electric light noise. See? No way. So what we gotta do is move the tuner. No way, it's working. I can't believe it. And Network TV's first ongoing consensual three-way I got about 100 volts in there, and it works. Watching this show, risk lowering one's IQ with each episode. You and your family might want to take aim. Let's pick up this electric light noise. Review of the show at pluggedin.com/radio. I'm Bob Olszewski for Focus on the Family. Plugged in. of treatment kept you from exploring relief. Oh, this it is sounds Monica good. Thompson Pearson with your easy two-step solution to feeling it sounds much good. better. Number one, they is a board-certified physician like who a happy specializes here. in vein treatment. If shortwave does anything. Stick my hand in there. And that's an on short wave. Let's put the antenna up a little higher. That's a good antenna too, wow. Let's try, let's try a different band. Let's try to move the the tuning capacitor. Nothing. Well, needs to be worked on. Sounds like the turtle. With President Trump, Donald called the shutdown political fear fueled by Democrats. The shutdown That's is right. two weeks old. Russian investigative agencies are formally indicting U.S. President Paul Whelan with espionage charges. A 48-year-old retired Marine was arrested eight days ago. Uh -oh. The Russian government announced his detainment on Monday. Those Ruskies. According to CNN, Whelan's attorney says a preventive measure for Whelan has been appealed. Whelan's family says he was in Moscow for a wedding. Remain skittish over the possibility of slowing global growth. Uh oh. One major factor, the tech sector, as Apple slashed its quarterly revenue hey, forecast no, for the first good. time in more than 15 years. Presenters for the AM, that is. Are being announced. They include Dick Van Dyke, Catherine Zeta Jones, Michael B. Jordan, Halle Berry, and Ben Stiller. Sandra O oh and Andy Samberg will host the award show. You're listening to the latest from NBC News Radio. Traffic on Talk Radio 640 WTSC. Good afternoon, the big wreck on Holcomb Bridge Road in Roswell. That the radio sounds really Island. good. It's finally cleared and the ramp's been reopened. Now there's new trouble nearby. And so, this is totally 100% fixable in my opinion. Fantastic. Yeah, yeah, shut up. So what do you think? That's a, uh, that's a winner.
Anyway, Happy New Year, folks. Have a happy, blessed New Year. I hope it's the best year ever, 2018. I mean, what is it? 2019 already? You kidding me? Have a happy 2019. Take it easy. Bye.